Wow, it's great to be back at Penn State. This is a Trump rally, and we are going to make it a Trump rally today. Like President Trump, I love God. I love my country. I love my family. But maybe just a little bit different, because my wife and I are Penn State grads. I love Penn State. We all recognize what an important time this upcoming election will be. It is time that you roll up your sleeves and you get to work. So I have several asks for you today. I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. We know how important this election is. And although it sounds somewhat trite, it is the most important election of all of our lives. So I have asked, and I'm going to start with, we have until the 29th to go to your local election authority and cast your ballot. We are what we consider individuals who vote on a regular basis. We are folks who understand the importance of this election. So cast your ballot early so those banked votes can be counted. So that President Trump starts in the lead. And you can do that. And my wife and I are doing that. And when you vote, display your American flag outside. Wave your flag. Put it up like it's the 4th of July because it will once again be Independence Day. I am honored to represent Pennsylvania's 13th Congressional District. From Gettysburg to Johnstown, from Chambersburg to Altoona, from Fulton County to Mifflin County, we are in the house. Let's hear it. We know how we are going to vote. So cast that vote. Put the flag up. Let your friends, let your neighbors, let everyone know how important this election is. And then on election day, you don't have to stand in line. You can take a neighbor, someone you know from church, someone who has small kids, and say, look, I'll watch the kids. Go cast that ballot. Make sure that we return to that independence that we had under President Trump. So I talk about my wife and I being students here at Penn State. These were great experiences. My wife and I would walk to the forum, would walk to Eisenhower, and we knew this. And the students who are standing behind me continue to do that. But I don't think you had it as good as we did. We had the opportunity of the American dream. It was right in front of us. I worked hard at Penn State, but there were many doors opened for me because of the great education that I got here in Happy Valley. My wife was a waitress at the Nittany Lion Inn. My wife never attended one home football game. She'll tell you the story. She worked breakfast, lunch, and dinner so that each home football game, she would make enough money to pay her rent. So when we moved back after years of being in medical school and residencies and serving the United States Navy, we moved back to central Pennsylvania. And my wife looked at me and she goes, what do you think about getting season tickets to the football game? This is every man's dream. And I said, eh, they're kind of expensive, honey, but I think we can pull it off. And that is a, the ability to live the American dream. But these students behind us, they're being baited with, we'll forgive your tuition. We're, they're being baited with so many lies that are being told to them. But they realize it. They realize the importance of casting their vote for Donald J. Trump. Pennsylvanians aren't fooled. We realized under Donald J. Trump, we had energy independence and even more. We had energy dominance. That's the ability to sell the energy sources that are under the feet of Pennsylvanians to our friends and to our allies that provide great jobs throughout the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. We can return to that under Donald J. Trump. We can return to the sovereignty of this country. So as I look out here and I see friends from the 13th Congressional District, I see patients of mine that I had served while I practiced medicine for 25 years, 
And yes, you see a different side of me. You see someone who is impassioned about seeing Donald J. Trump return to the White House. You're seeing someone who understands that Donald J. Trump can once again secure the border. I'm going to talk about a story of two constituents who met with me, Ray and Deb. They met with me in the eastern part of the district, and they told me about their son, who was a college student, who was poisoned by fentanyl and died. It messaged to me how important it was that I go to the border, and I did, four times. And I went out with the Border Patrol. I flew with the DEA. I saw the cartels bringing the drugs, doing the human trafficking that continues to pour into our country. And I recognized that Kamala Harris was failing in her job as being the czar of the border. She was turning her back on her responsibilities. But Donald J. Trump didn't do that. Donald J. Trump recognized that we needed to impose remain in Mexico. Donald Trump recognized we needed to build that wall. We needed to secure the sovereignty of our country. And we need to do it again. I told you, I didn't come here to sugarcoat anything. I'm in my backyard and I'm very happy to be back here in Happy Valley. But we have a significant responsibility. And that responsibility transcends different levels. So I want to acknowledge the Penn State wrestlers who I saw. Would you please stand so we see these champion wrestlers? Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for being here. President Trump recognizes that men do not belong in women's sports. And while we're recognizing individuals, I want to recognize those who have served this great country of ours in the United States military. Please stand for us so we can acknowledge you. Thank you. Thank you. USA, 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 USA. So I brought the wrestlers into the conversation for a, for a specific reason. So West Point's wrestling captain, Dave McCormick, is also running and is going to be on our ballot. And Dave McCormick needs to be elected. And I'm going to talk to you about Dave McCormick and how important this is that Dave is elected. So let's face it, Donald J. Trump is going to be our quarterback, and we know that. But he needs to have the linebackers. He needs to have the defense. He needs to have someone like Dave McCormick, who just revealed to me that he was an all-state linebacker besides being the captain of West Point's wrestling team. He was an athlete, he was active duty military, he served his country, and now he is stepping up to serve and support, to be that flank, to be that linebacker for President Donald J. Trump in the U.S. Senate. We need Dave McCormick, he needs your vote. I ask you to support Dave McCormick. So as you see him on the campaign trail, you can let him know he didn't end up a champion like the Penn State wrestlers here today but you will tell him that he's got your vote. He's the linebacker that President Trump needs. We all need to support Dave McCormick because he will be the ally that I who serve in the House, I need that ally in the Senate, and that is Dave McCormick. He is the linebacker. He is who we need to send to Washington. Thank you. Now, before I conclude, I really want to acknowledge the law enforcement officers who are here today. Please stand for us. So let's, let's, talk, let's talk about President Trump's opponent. Shh. Kamala wants to defund the police. We have seen the rise in crime. We have seen what an open southern border has done to our country. We recognize that we need to fund the police with the resources that they need to protect us, the resources that they need to turn away the rising crime that continues throughout America. 
We all see it, we all feel it, our families know it, and the individual who can do that is Donald J. Trump. So together, Penn Staters, law enforcement, prior military, college athletes, we all stand together for Donald J. Trump. Thank each and every one of you. God bless you. God bless the great Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And may God continue to bless these great United States of America. Thank you all. Thanks for being here today.